What's up traders? So normally I don't have clickbaity titles, but this is important. And that's because we just got a close of the January bar, which is going to put into the effect the January barometer. And that is the concept that as goes the month of January, so goes the rest of the year. And what that says is that if we have a positive January, we have a statistical expectation looking at the past 50 years or so, that the year will also be positive. And if we have a negative January, well, it doesn't mean that the year is going to be negative, but it definitely decreases that probability. So just as a little informational here, this is the statistics. This was written last year, so they haven't updated it for this one yet. But when you have a positive January over the last 50 years, from 2020 back, you had an 83% chance of the stock market going positive. In other words, we're just going on a metric of the open of January on the SPY to the close of January on the SPY means that the open of the year will be higher than the close, or the low, excuse me, the close of the year will be higher. It doesn't take into account volatility. It doesn't take into account uh, big moves down. It just looks at the closes. But it's a good indicator for people that are doing long-term investing. Now, if you have a negative January, that doesn't mean that you're going to have a negative year. It just means that the probability drops to 65% instead. But I find this interesting here, the returns, whereas if you have a positive January and you invest, let's say on uh, February 1st, what your actual returns will uh, typically be. So it's also a short-term barometer where it's going to have a 70% chance of a positive January having a positive February, whereas it's actually an indicator of a potentially negative February. And what's funny is that this is an article from, again, a year ago uh, on CNBC, where the January of 2020 actually ended down 0.2%. The irony of this is, that even though we had all this recent unpleasantness in 2020, the year of 2020 actually ended up. So it would actually fall within that 63% range. However, if we actually look at this January right here, and I'll get out the ruler, from the open here down to here, yep, that's about probably 0.2%. This is a negative January because it is a negative bar a red bar a closing bearish bar and the month of february as we all know was definitely bearish and the january barometer effect while it didn't correctly protect the year because the year still ended positive because it still had a 63 percent chance of the year ending positive it did correctly predict that february was going to be a down month so as we're looking at the monthly bar this is the SPY, and we're just about 15 minutes after the close here on uh, January uh, the 29th, last day of the week, last day of the month. January of 2021 has closed negative. So, not saying that we're going to have a crash, not saying that we're going to have a correction. We just have a decreased probability of ending the year positive, still more likely than not. And we have an increased probability of the next month being bearish. So these are just statistics. Anything can happen. But you can make assumptions and position yourself accordingly. See you guys in the next video. Should be an interesting month and quarter coming up.